Polling stations across six districts of Nagaland wore a deserted look on the first phase of polling, that is April 19, as the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, or ENPO, stood firm in its decision to abstain from participating in the Lok Sabha election. The decision was made in protest against the delay of the Naga apex body's demand for a frontier Nagaland territory. On the eve of the poll, the ENPO had declared an indefinite total shutdown across its jurisdiction, which includes districts such as Mon, Twensang, Kifiri, Longleng, Noklak and Shamator. As for the Election Commission of India, the voting percentage for the Nagaland Lok Sabha Parliamentary Constituency stood at 42.34% as of 2pm. Speaking to reporters at Tuopema village, Nagaland Chief Minister Nefurio said that the state and centre will take appropriate action for preventing others from practising their voting rights. Well, it is the civil societies. What they think, what they do is their own mind. But government of Nagaland is having thorough discussion that there should be a peaceful pulling all over the state, including ENPO. And so far, I got information that everything is going peacefully. Whether voting is, uh, wherever voting is going on, and wherever it is not going on, are peaceful. So I have that the polling will go smooth. So will you take any action, will your government take any action against the 20 legislators from the Eastern because they are also not casting their vote? No, because uh, ENPO had given in order in a very strict manner, particularly mentioning the in-law members also. So, if we don't want company, uh, confrontation, then uh, let us see what will happen. Sir, do you think this abstention will uh, affect this negotiation for the FNT, especially with the uh, government of India? Their activities, whatever they are doing, they know best, but as government of India and also as the state, we will also take appropriate action. And you are aware, election commission had given shown course notice to them and others who are trying to prevent voting because it is the right of every citizens to give vote in participating the election process in the democracy. Sir, the ENPO have particularly blamed your government, uh, stating that uh, the letter, uh, the silent feature is, was handed over to you in the month of December, but uh, you had kept in abeyance for a very long time and it was not discussed with the ENPO. I don't want to comment on that, but it was handed over to me by MHA in persons of uh, in presence of <coughs> honorable home minister amichaji and that is a draft a working paper so everything looks okay but the power sharing between the elected members of eastern elected members and the proposed FNT. So, you are aware in my earlier public address, or when you asked me, I had replied that state government has no problem because we had already recommended for an autonomous body so that they get sufficient economic packages to come at par with the rest of the state. But uh, that's why we said that 40 at uh, 20 MLAs from Eastern region and the ENPO should across the table for sharing of power and in that We'll discuss earlier, but when autonomous 
body is created. And when the elected members are there, then they have to be a system. So state government has nothing to do with that, but MLAs and ENPO should sit across the table to work out a formula for power sharing, which they could not do and refused to accept or study on that paper. And that's why they may blame us. We have no comment. Only when all these things are over. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.